let's go ahead and add a new class in the lesson 8. Let's name this class Divisibility. So this program will display a number's factors. What we're going to do is we're going to build off of the if statements. We're going to use a for statement and we are going to use the scanner class. So let's go ahead and import the scanner class. Import java.util.scanner with a capital S. We're going to start by asking a person to enter a number that they wish to see broken up into its factors. So system.out.println Please type a positive number and then press enter or return. So we are just instructing them to enter in a positive number. Next, we're going to define the scanner. So we'll call it console input like we did in a previous video. And that's going to be the new scanner. System dot n. The user will be entering in a number, which is different from a string. Therefore, we're going to have integer, let's name it x, equals console input. And instead of next line, we're going to say next int. That's reading the integer x. So now we want it to display system.out.println x is divisible by and this is where we're going to figure out what x is divisible by. So we're going to start with a for statement and we're going to initialize it. So integer i equals 1. What we're doing with this for statement is we're going to enter in i and see if that divides into x. And if it does, we're going to have it printed out. So we know a number is divisible by number starting at 1 and going up until itself. So i is going to be less than or equal to x. And we're going to check all the numbers in between 1 and x. So i plus plus. Inside the for statement is where our if statement will be. And we're testing if i divides into x. So if x mod i is 0 or equals 0. So if i divides evenly into x, then we are going to print out i because that is a factor of x. So system.out.print and we're just going to print out i and we'll add a space after that or a comma just so that we can separate the numbers. So it's going to test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on, up until the number x that the user enters in. So if they enter in 20, it's going to test numbers 1 all the way up through 20 and print out where it's divisible. So you would see a 1, a 2, a 4, a 5, and so on. Let's go ahead and test with 20. When we launch the program, enter in the integer 20, and it says 20 is divisible by 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Let's try a larger number. Run the program again. Let's enter in 4,596. 4,596 is divisible by all of these integers. 
if we were to enter in a negative number into this, say negative 4, we know that negative 4 is definitely divisible by negative 4, negative 2, and negative 1. However, we do not account for negatives within our for statement. We're only doing this for positive integers. That's an easy fix if you were to write another if statement that will count a different way depending on whether x was positive or negative.